Gopala Astrology Channel where the science meets astrology for common man's understanding. Subscribe and stay tuned to this channel for continued astrological updates. Hello, welcome to Gopala Astrology Channel once again and today I'm going to have another interesting video uh, in the series of Vastu Shastra. So um, this video is all about the best direction for sleeping in our house okay now the reason i'm making this uh, video because um, recently just last week i had a consultation done for my australian client australia lies in the southern hemisphere and after the the consultation and advices were given uh, a generic rule was uh, told to her and uh, and uh, and i was not satisfied with uh, whatever advices that was given to her the reason because she stays in the southern hemisphere and um, all the rules uh, that is done for vastu could be totally different when a person lives in southern hemisphere and when person lives in northern hemisphere and of course not much different when it is in equator so i did not really pay attention to her southern hemisphere house and then I gave gen general predictions and gave general suggestions because she was calling me and contacting me because of uh, uh, the mirrors that she had in her bedroom. Okay, she had seen my YouTube video and somehow she contacted me and then the consultation went on. But the thing is this, um, I thought this video should emphasize on really the science behind the direction of sleeping. What is the best direction for sleeping? And then, uh, why is it so? That has to be explained. Because uh, uh, if we don't give the reason for uh, for real uh, 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 direction of the uh, sleeping, the people may not follow it uh, on a continuous basis. Okay, so this video is an effort to explain the science behind the direction of sleeping because it's very, very important to understand this as uh, everybody spends about six to eight hours uh, in a stretch in one place that is our bedrooms all right let's go to the actual video let's try to understand genuinely what are the basic scientific reasons for having the best sleeping directions as per vastu so without science i will not give you any uh, clue about vastu okay so vastu is an indian science of home building and um, it always gives lots and lots of theories about um, which direction that we need to place what object in the house now about the sleeping direction it has been a lot of uh, discussions that are going on about southern hemisphere northern hemisphere and what exactly is going on in 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 planet earth okay if you observe this is our planet earth it is it keeps spinning around its axis with a tilt of 23 and a half degrees and it also revolves around the sun Okay, the poles are very, very strong in magnetism compared to the uh, middle portion of the earth. So you can see that the magnetic south, magnetic south of the earth, which is shown as yes here, is towards the, is towards the geographic north pole. And then opposite, uh, the magnetic north always shows towards the, uh, the, mag uh, the geographic south pole. Now, why I am showing this and what is the significance of this when, when compared to the human body? So, this is actually the magnetic grid of the earth. And now, let's take um, a simple analogy that we did in our primary school physics, okay? We always used to play with uh, our magnets and stuff like that because we were very fascinated when we, we were young. Okay, we always learned that opposite poles like north and south they attract each other whereas the same poles north and north or south and south always repel each other we played this in our primary school all right so this is very very important concept and same thing happens to our human body okay see that this is the human body and our head represents the north pole we are also a magnet actually we are also a magnet so the head uh, represents the north pole the feet represents the south pole and always we see that there is a continuous circulation of the blood that keeps on going and now when we sleep with the north of our head towards the north of the earth what happens there is a repulsive force all the time and also the blood always keep 
rushing towards the magnetic north of the earth especially when you are in northern hemisphere okay so what is happening here please understand the blood keeps rushing to the brain and the brain is always active when you are about to sleep so you do not get sleep you keep on getting up in the middle of the night and it becomes a very very sleepless night for you okay and that's the main reason that we are uh, trying to put our head not to the north pole uh, when you are in the northern hemisphere when you sleep and I will come to the southern hemisphere a little later okay so let's understand and zoom in a little bit more into our human blood okay the human blood if you take one liter of blood about 440 milligrams of this has iron content in the form of hemoglobin mainly it's the oxygen carrier of the blood the red blood corpuscles or the rbc's you know red blood cells they have this uh, iron rich hemoglobin okay so we know that the iron is there and when we are sleeping towards the head in the northern direction the north pole attracts this blood very much and uh, even please understand our human brain as i'm showing here it will have very very fine capillaries and if the blood keeps rushing continuously uh, when we are asleep there is a very high chance of hemorrhage and uh, rupture of blood vessels it is very much possible that is the very reason of um, the stroke as well you know a particular part of the brain doesn't get the the blood supply and that ceases to uh, function and that is related to certain locomotive uh, portion of our body like leg or hand and that becomes paralyzed okay so it is so serious to understand uh, that uh, the facing towards the north direction when you're sleeping is is very very bad for our health okay and of course it doesn't happen one or two days it's it's a prolonged sleep in this direction in the in the same room uh, that is what is going to be the killer okay it takes it happens gradually so it, it, you will not see that okay today i have slept in the north direction am i going to have this effect no it takes a lot of time like uh, in the multiples of uh, seven days you know seven weeks seven years by the time if you continuously are sleeping for seven years i'm very sure that the, the person who is sleeping in the direction is going to have insomnia sleeplessness and he may even go for uh, some hemorrhages okay i've seen the results in that manner now let's go back to our original kubera chart or the north south east west chart of vastu right so this is the vastu purusha you can see that there is an imaginary person who is sitting here in this direction in my previous video i have already explained about it i'm just going to touch about the four main directions for today the north direction is called the kubera's direction of the god of wealth okay that is this one and east is surya the south is yama and then uh, west is varuna varuna is the god of uh, water okay so please understand these four and then every corner is also uh, allocated for a particular deity okay so you can always take a screenshot of this particular uh, uh, slide and it will be always uh, coming handy for you when you want whenever you want to learn vastu shastra of india okay now of course there is a lot of mythological stories i don't want to really go behind it you know there is a story about um, ganesha the lord uh, uh, lord elephant god he has got uh, uh, the elephant head there is a story there and he was waiting in front of his mother's palace and lord shiva enters and he stops him uh, the ganesha stops him and then shiva gets angry he is going to chop off his head in the, in the war between him and his son he was not knowing that he was his son at the time and finally he orders his uh, people to go to the northern direction whatever animal which is facing north direction and sleeping please cut the head of that animal and bring it to uh, fix uh, the head for my son and the life of the ganesha is saved in that manner and he is going to get an elephant uh, head okay anyway that that's uh, a mythological story aside i always go by science okay so let's understand now the importance of the hemispheres and also the directions as i told you that in the northern direction above the equator like country like uh, countries like india north america whatever is there europe okay russia and all the northern hemisphere countries we need to follow this particular 
um, slide here okay east is the best direction for knowledge south is for the health okay the west is I, i'm going to explain west is not that bad but north is extremely extremely bad for sleeping in the direction as the blood is going to flow towards the head and it causes sleeplessness okay now coming to the southern hemisphere this is the correction that i wanted to exactly put it up to all of my clients that southern hemisphere if suppose you are staying in australia or new zealand or south america south africa or south america you may find that uh, you are more closer to the south pole okay the attraction caused by south pole is so powerful compared to the north pole the effect the north pole is quite far from you guys okay and that's the reason you should also consider avoiding your head towards the south when you are sleeping in the southern hemisphere only okay more more south your your house is located the better it is to avoid the south direction in order to get good sleep because again the south pole is going to do the same job as what i explained uh, on your blood and uh, also the iron particles in your blood uh, it's it's exactly the same effect it's exactly the same effect and so for the people in the southern hemisphere i'm not recommending them to put their head to the north and sleep definitely you can make use of east or west directions okay that that's the main thing that has to be followed and understood you should have a clear understanding why the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere they will have different best directions for sleeping okay so if you knew the if you know the logic let me just tell you about four directions of sleeping and its benefits okay as per was to sleeping in the south direction is considered as the best one in the northern hemisphere i'm talking about okay and it's going to increase the health wealth and stability of the person also give uh, prosperity to the uh, to the owner of the house okay the east is all about you know memory concentration health and inclination towards spirituality knowledge okay earth is spinning east to west the the first lines of magnetic force are always going to the eastern horizon and hence it is very very advisable for young kids to to face the eastern direction and sleep okay in the same way west is not that bad okay west is also a favorable direction sleeping with the head in the west gives name fame and reputation and prosperity the only thing that people always uh, come back to me is that when they put the leg to the eastern direction and sleep will will it uh, cause some problem as you are showing your leg to the sun god so many people uh, who are very religious and uh, they follow the rituals they always are scared to show the leg to the sun see please understand when you are sleeping there is no sun in the east direction whenever you get up early in the morning you should follow west direction which is very very suitable if you are a late uh, late get up uh, person late uh, late to the dawn then you should go back to the east direction okay that's the only difference otherwise uh, it's always auspicious to sleep with the 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 head to the west direction only direction only direction i will never recommend is north okay as per was to the head in the north direction is strictly strictly prohibited okay the blood is going to keep rushing to the brain and you will you will have n number of problems insomnia hemorrhage sleeplessness please never do that okay avoid this one particular day. even even if you are in the southern hemisphere i don't want you to put the the head to the north and sleep you can use the east or west okay and um, that explains everything summarizes everything and uh, also i would like to put this slide to tell you about um the day, the the planets which are ruling each of these directions okay i'll tell you why because please understand let's start with the let's start with the north okay so this represents mars whenever you are sleeping with your head to the north and when you get up are going to face the southern direction which is ruled by mars okay and that's why mars is shown here the same way exactly opposite is south when you put your head to the south and sleep and when you get up you are actually facing and seeing the mercury okay mercury is the god of wealth and that's why more god of wealth prosperity everything everything is seen when your head is towards the south and when you get up you see the 
the god of wealth okay so don't get confused here it's written very clearly the prosperity is seen when the head is towards the south and really not so good news when you the head be north and sleep okay? northeast is considered sinful because when you get up you will see southwest which is ruled by rahu okay and that's the reason it is put as sinful here the northeast direction itself is is a very blissful uh, powerful direction because it's ruled by jupiter okay the jupiter is always a benevolent planet which is shown here but never put your head there and sleep it is always the opposite southwest is is extremely powerful it gives you stability and power in the house okay and at the same time let us see the southeast direction southeast when you get up you will see the northwest right so the northwest is actually ruled by moon and you should not see northwest direction when you get up that's why you when you whenever the head is towards the southeast it's going to cause some kind of long term sickness and illnesses okay and opposite to that is again when you put your head to the northwest when you get up you will see the southeast and southeast is ruled by venus that's why we have put venus here towards the leg here and a lot of enmity you may develop okay so southeast is also a fiery zone and you will have a lot of enemies in your life okay you will waste a lot of time in in uh, mitigating the risks caused by your own enemies so better don't sleep in that direction Okay, and one more important point here is east is all about destiny. So when you tap, what you see is is Lord Saturn who is ruling the west direction. Lord Saturn gives you discipline, courage, and he makes he's a karmic planet. Okay, so you'll be very disciplined in acquiring the knowledge, and that's why it is written as destiny. You're going to write your own destiny when you put your head to the south and sleep. And now opposite is west. so long longevity is seen why because the opposite of this is actually surya or the east okay the the east is going to give you longevity and things like that so uh, it's it looks a little complicated because the 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 wordings are given to the opposite directions please take a screenshot of this study this carefully if you have any questions you can always come back to me and finally the correct answer is put your head to the south and sleep that is the best or southwest and never never for the southeast or northeast or northwest and uh, that's it so i don't want to uh, recommend any other directions at all all right so th with this um, i will just give a plan on the top view of the house which are the places to have the room and let us say there is a north facing house which are the locations which are the corners the bedrooms must be located especially the master bedroom the best location is southwest okay for the children room it is northwest so i am always recommending in this uh, half of the house the bedrooms to be located okay southeast is totally no no it is a fiery zone you should are supposed to have a kitchen there and exactly in the brahmasthanam or the center of the house i don't recommend any uh, bedroom to be there and also towards the uh, north right in front of the door itself this is md the, the main door this is the northeast you can have a northeast bedroom northeast puja room but you cannot have a bedroom directly exactly in the northeast zone and it is also not going to give you good results okay the most stable position is south southwest and northwest for for the children children's room and this is for the master okay so that's how it is and uh, you can take screenshot of this as well and go back to your own house plan and see where is the bedrooms located and again follow the directions for sleeping as well okay so uh the, let us just give one screenshot for the best position to sleep in your own master bedroom imagine if you are lucky enough to have the southwest master bedroom let us say the door is here you need to place your bed like this okay i will always advise to leave the three spaces that is the left or right and then to the bottom of the frame as as free spaces okay the place where you are going to put your head you can put it to the wall and the rest of the three places must be open as the energy 
it uh, as the energy cycle flows very uniformly and you will get very good sleep okay so i have shown here the magnet here magnet shows that southern direction is here and the couple is sleeping with their head to the south and sleeping okay and if it is southern hemisphere the houses are located in countries like australia new zealand south america it is to be avoided for sleeping in the south direction okay so i hope uh, you have understood the whole of this uh, session and before i close this video i will give one interesting tip okay and that's going to shock you as well if you are new to this see imagine a person dies normally in indian um, uh, practices they put the head in the north south direction like this okay there is a very very strong belief um, for putting this uh, dead body in this direction the reason is this whenever um, we call it as pancha prana normally when we are alive there are five vital energies that uh, always governs the living of our body physiology of our body the moment the person dies the five vital energies or the prana vayus they get uh, they become standstill it cannot function right and that's the reason once the the person dies the the body is called kalevara kalevara or kalevar right so the thing is it has inability to <clears throat> spread any uh, waves in in the body whereas when you put the body in the south uh, north south direction in this manner the lord yama okay uh, yama is uh, is the is the god of death okay so we consider this yama to come in the form of waves okay and that direction comes from the south okay and it's going to uh, engulf the whole of the corpse of the dead body with a with a sheet you know it's a protect to sheet so that um, the quick disintegration of all the subtle refined gases are all taken off from the body and uh, this uh, uh, this sheet that is going to cover the body by lord yama is going to protect from uh, protect this body from getting any negative energies like other souls entering the body and stuff like that okay so this is a, this is a belief system Uh, in india and uh, i'm very sure even other countries also they follow it if they know okay so it's always advisable to put the body with its head to the north direction so imagine uh, north direction is for the person who is already dead so you are alive you should put your head to the south or east and sleep from now on i hope this video has given you a lot of inputs and um, and you will follow the the rules accordingly and if you find benefits for sleeping to the south direction please put uh, uh, co your comments in the comment section and i'll be happy to see your comments okay thank you very much uh, we have come to the end of this video if you have any further questions please type it in the comment section whenever i have time i will come back to you thank you very much